hi guys i'm jessica welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome i hope you do decide to click the bell and subscribe to my channel it is now um thursday afternoon about two o'clock in the afternoon most of you will know that i am at home on a thursday zane sleeping he is fast asleep i did try to make this video yesterday but Zane didn't give me a chance. Well, I couldn't hear anything when I tried to listen back to the video with Zane being in the background. So um, the reason for making this video is to give you guys um, so some tips of how I try to be organized and be prepared during this school term. I usually, these just tend to go out the window after the school when it's not term time so um i have got my notebook with some notes in there that i've wrote down try to make a list of all the things that i do i mean i do do a lot more than these but these are my top 10 things that i definitely do and will not miss each week um the first thing that i suggest is a diarrhea planner this is my diary and i use this to make notes of when the kids are breaking up from school the children them activity any video that i'm gonna vlog so let's look what we got on the current week so this week this was M monday um xyla goes to childminding and the danian goes to football club tuesday xyla go so this is how it breaks down we got monday here tuesday and then sunday is just a little part and it's like appointments so if you if you can you see that if you've got any appointments it's all down there down there like that and in the back bit you've got quite a lot of pages for notes so i use this part of it when i have ideas for videos i drum it down in there so and this is august 2019 to i think it's august 2020 oh let's have a look Ooh. july 2020 so it's a school year and it's got boss in it on it i got it from poundland and it only cost me one pound you lot may have seen it in the blog i buy diaries every year I buy one for the children and one for me every back to school so that's mine so moving on from planning that's the first thing of being organized for me and the second thing is have a meal planner so on here i got this from there yes so oh, down the side here it got the days of the week we only truly use Monday to Friday and this side is like shopping list so I put stuff down there so if my husband's gonna be out and he's going to the supermarket he'll pick up the stuff them that I write there vice versa and each days we put the things down here and my third option, more or less blending with this, is batch cooking. We batch cook every Sunday. It's so helpful because Monday and Tuesday, I work till 7.30 at night. And Friday, I work till 7.30 at night. So it helped my husband a lot. So whatever a batch cook, I will put it down on here. If he has to cook from scratch, I will put it on there and he'll know that he'll be cooking it from scratch. So if I cook curry chicken for Monday, I'll say, take curry chicken out the freezer and I'll put it in the fridge. And when he come home, he just put it in the pot and warm it up and boil some rice and some veg to go with it. It makes his life a lot easier. Take him less than an hour to cook. And I cook at least three or four meals on a Sunday. 
to help throughout the week and that's really helpful it saves time it gives you more time with the children you don't have to come rushing in because by the time you finish work pick up all the children and get home it's like half past five you don't have to rush around i find that when we rush in we're screaming at the kids and telling them to do this and to do that so batch cooking is my third one and my fourth one is preparing the outfit from sunday I wash on a Thursday, on a Wednesday and a Thursday and a Saturday. Well, my husband wash on a Saturday because I work on a Saturday. So we wash three days in the week and I iron on a Sunday. I iron all the uniforms for five days on a Sunday and leave them the, um, all in one pile. I could put the full outfit together, um, underwear, socks and things like that. I put them together so when the kids are getting dressed, just go and pick it up. I take it out the night before and put it on the banister so they are there for them to just um, get into the clothes and get ready for school. Get ready for, for school. And that saves a lot of time in the morning. If you have any fussy eat, if, if everything is organized, you, you could spend time with them eating or you, you can give them more time to have the breakfast. So, um, Clothes was my third. Organize the weekly clothes. I also organize my clothes for the week as well on a Sunday. I don't really too bother my husband because he wear a uniform to school and he just tend to wear the one set of clothes maybe three days throughout the week. He has to be really dirty because his job is really dirty for him to change. Every morning when the children then wake up, I made them make up the bed because it saves a lot of time in the evening when we're preparing to go to bed. So I make them make the bed every morning. I make my bed as well every morning. Sometimes that's very difficult because if I have to jump out of the bed to go wake up the children or come downstairs, get my husband out of the house for work, I might get distracted and you never get back to it. So I tried to make that my first thing on the morning is to make my bed. And the sixth one, oh no, the seventh one is, so we got planning, batch, meal plan, batch cooking, and make, the, the, the sixth one is shop online. I do a lot of my shop if they need shoes, the, the only thing that i really want to do if i'm buying my daughter or my youngest son shoes i will go into the shop i try to avoid going to the shop unless i'm planning at all or something like that i do as much as i can do online i also think the seventh one for me is a to-do list i usually do my to-do list on a sunday but things can get added throughout the week it's nice to have a to-do list so you can tick things off if the kids don't have any activity to go to i most of the time keep the to-do list on the fridge if it's a family to-do list if they've been to go out certain cleaning in the house need doing you need to get done this week then i will put it on a to-do list i also have a family diary calendar that i have on my mobile phone the hat i'll have a to-do list do things like winter is coming up i'll put winter things on it so if my husband see that um and he's out and about he can grab things if i need some milk i will put it on there as well so if he's already out and he he want to know if i want anything he will check the to-do list and see and that organization to-do list because it have our work diary on it as well because my husband has another son um his mum's in the to-do list so his mum's in the group so if she needed to know whether she can she want him to have his son then rather than ringing a nurse, she could just check if he's working or check what time he's finished. My husband works some weekends. Um, she could check if he's working th that weekend. So it keeps um, us communicating with each other. And my eight things is to communicate our schedule. If 
the children have any activity it's good for my husband to know and myself to know so we'll know where the children will be each time rather because my husband's got a bad habit is he will text me every monday to ask me ladanian's got football every tuesday Azila got gymnastic yes 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 she has gymnastic so i thought right okay we need a diary we need to work on our communication a bit better because you should automatically know that this is why i create a family calendar so rather than call me at work or text me at work and ask me as she got gymnastic where am i picking her up from just look on our family calendar and you will see so communicate our schedule is number eight and number 10 i open and process all our mail once a week it's usually in a wednesday in the middle of the week um if any bills to pay any money to send to school anything to pay i will do that on a wednesday so opening my mail once a week save time save time and you give back more time to the family and spending time together and number 10 is have the the bags packed like the nursery bag pack and in the car or at the door ready to go if you don't drive the book bag the bag pack everything pee kit everything organized the night before every evening i come home if i if i know they've got pee kit where is your book bag where is your pee kit everything in coat and shoes and everything already um we don't drive we don't have a family car so most time we are catching bus or taxi to work so it's have them at the door ready to go if my, my husband's doing it he's got the car so we will put them in the car the night before so all those those are my top 10 tips that keep me organized keep me sane through the week and still allow me more time to spend with the children i do those every single week day in day out if they are daily and it keeps the family running well so i hope um my organizational tips working mum acts able to help you and give you an idea of how you can keep organized and how you can keep on top of your family and save time I hope you like this video if you do click that like thumbs up or even thumbs down if you don't like it leave something in the comment to tell me what video you'd like to see me if you'd not like to see me make any video because I had um, someone commented to say I should stop making videos I mean it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna stop but because I like it and I enjoy doing it whether it's silly good whatever but if you want to see me make a certain video comment in the comment section below if you don't like it don't be shy to give me the thumbs up i'm not gonna scream at you i either want you to like it or dislike it um and if you want feel free to give me a reason why you don't like it and how you think i can do better and if you're new here i hope to see you again i'm jessica i'm a mum of five and others <laughs> so and they also work full-time self-employed and i'm still trying to do this youtube thing so i'm very very busy so now i have my chicken breast is i can hear it smelling like it's frying a bit too much so i need to get back to the cooking because i tried to cook before i go on school run so i'm gonna get that finish off so until the next time i will see you in my next video thank you for watching and thank you for coming back